four minutes after the top of the hour, it's a new law down in Texas that could double the amount of academic credits that high school athletes get for playing sports. A major change to all policy. So should athletics count the same as book work, regular school work? Join us right now for a fair and balanced debate. Texas State Board members Ken Mercer and Geraldine Miller. Ken voted for the new law that gives the credit while Geraldine opposed it. And good morning to both of you. Good morning. Ken, Good morning. Uh, in, in my home state of Kansas and in the state I live in right now, uh, student athletes do not get any credit for athletics and extracurriculars as well. Why in Texas is that uh, our credits given out? We found in Texas we seem to discriminate against student athletes. If you're in marching band or ROTC, you get four credits for four years. If you're in dance or art for four years of electives, you get four credits. But if you're in athletics and PE, we only allow two credits All right. for four years of work. And so you like the idea of uh, athletes getting as many credits as possible if they're going to be, you know, whether it's watching game films or working out, you think that they should get credit for that? Well, our state congress knows we just recently passed the toughest graduation program in America, but they're, they're fearful yes. of a correlation of tough requirements and uh, dropout rates. They know that two students who are freely allowed to choose their electives stay in school right. longer all right and one of the best programs we have for kids is athletics they retain they stay in school they study they pass their, cl their classes because they want to play and stay in school no doubt about it kids love uh, to play sports the big question is Geraldine whether or not you should get a lot of your school credit for suiting up Geraldine hi um, well 25 years ago our state of Texas passed what was called the most comprehensive reform movement in public education and it ended up being called the no pass no play law that meant that instead of friday night lights and football first and then study and social promotion mm -hmm. it was let's get our priorities right and that is what been our goal is to study first pass your classes and then you can participate mm -hmm. in the privilege of football and extracurricular right. activities okay we so, our goal has been to raise the standards in our, for our young people and put academics first and put sports and, and football second. So, Geraldine, are you worried that by giving uh, kids a lot of credits for athletics, you're essentially creating um, athletic factories of the high schools? Well, uh, let me say this. Now that the law has been passed, they have opened up a huge loophole mm. where seven state elective credits could literally be taken all within football and sure. athletics all right now now that e equals to about 28 percent or a third of your entire college i mean your high school four yeah. years of courses sure. in football or sports and that and is, that is that, that totally is, une uneven it is a lot uh, can, and, I, we're short on time ken i'm going to give you the final word sorry geraldine well, that would never happen in Texas. I would bring forth an amendment to say we would cap all electives at four years. We're not going to tell a student, hey, you're a great volleyball player. You can play seven years in high school. That isn't going to happen. It will be a cap at four years for any electives, whether it be art, music, drama, dance, or athletic, no more than four years of your chosen okay. electives. All right. Well, it is a debate that is raging in Texas and coast to coast. Uh, email us, folks, right now. What do you think about this? Uh, friends at FoxNews.com. Ken and Geraldine, we thank you both for joining us today from the Lone Star State. Thank you.